Hi, I'm Nishant. I'm going to talk about uh, Julia Box. Uh, a show of hands, how many of you use Julia Box? Okay, a lot of you. So, uh, I'm just going to introduce some of the features of Julia Box. Julia Box is basically uh, Julia, your Julia setup on the cloud. Uh, we have some default packages which we provide, and uh, you can use the Jupyter Notebooks or uh, you can use the console. Um, Basically, for each user, we provide a Ubuntu Docker container. Um, uh, if, if you are interested in installing Julia Box, you get the, uh, at the admin page where you can see uh, statistics of your users. Um, and uh, you can extend Julia Box using plugins, um, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, this is a world. Hmm. I, I just said that, but it's okay. Give me a second. Let's move that there. I can make an announcement about the jacket sales while we're, <laughs> while we're waiting to see it at the time. So um, I think you know that there, the uh, jackets will be available again this afternoon. And um, I saw uh, poor Shirley telling everybody these, the ones on the table are just for trying them on, don't take them away, and I heard her in sequence telling everybody. So I thought if I broadcast in parallel, maybe people won't take them. <laughs> the, the same point goes to taking the jackets out of the boxes. Um, unless Shirley tells you to, please don't uh, take it. It confuses the whole thing, so just uh, work with Shirley. Thanks. Um, this is a world map of uh, regions, uh, places where Julia Box is used. The size of the circles uh, correspond to the relative number of users. So we have about uh, 25,000 registered users on juliabox.org. Uh, these are the universities which have the highest number of uh, Julia Box users. Uh, so the agenda for this talk is going to be, um, so. We recently moved uh, Julia Box to the Google Cloud. Uh, we were formerly running uh, Julia Box on AWS. Actually, it's still running on AWS. Uh, we are planning to um, uh, redirect uh, in about a couple of months to the Google Cloud platform. Uh, then I'm going to talk about the architecture of Julia Box and the future plans for Julia Box. So uh, the new Julia Box is hosted on juliabox.com. Um, the back end is Google Cloud Platform for that. And uh, uh, we're going to have a button in the settings page, which will let, let you uh, import your data from juliabox.org. Um, okay. This is the architecture of Julia Box. Um, so uh, the architecture is designed uh, for uh, scalability. Uh, on the left, you see uh, a single um, instance case. So if you install Julia Box on your laptop, uh, that's what it's going to be like. You're going to have a router, uh, and it's going to route uh, uh, user. Uh, uh, for each user, you're going to have a Docker container. 
uh, which is shown there as session containers and uh, the router is going to route uh, um, uh, the sessions to th those containers. Um, uh, Julia Box on, on the cloud, on Google or on Amazon uh, uh, web services uh, is going to be somewhat like on the right where you will have multiple instances and uh, uh, multiple instances of Julia Box running. Uh, this diagram shows the Docker container that uh, Julia Box user gets. So we provide the uh, iJulia or Jupyter notebooks. Uh, also, you get the shell access, shell in a box. Um, also, you can sync using Google Drive or Git that is uh, uh, controlled by the file manager. Uh, and if you've ever used uh, uh, Julia Web API.jl on Julia Box, then the container on the bottom is what is created for you. So Julia Box uh, development, uh, the, the architecture is uh, a plugin based architecture for loosely cu coupling your uh, uh, wh whatever you want to add. So uh, if you've installed Julia Box on your laptop, then you might have uh, uh, used the SQLite uh, as your database plugin. Uh, but on Amazon, you, mi you might need to use uh, DynamoDB or on Google, you might uh, require a Google Cloud data store. So these are uh, modeled as plugins. Uh, so you don't have to edit the, um, the main Julia Box code. Uh, similarly, uh, we implemented the migration button using the UI plugin and uh, so on. You get the other plugins. So I'm going to now talk about the future roadmap of Julia Box. So we're going, this shows a rough sketch of what the UI is going to look like. We're going to have, uh, um, we're, we're going to let users run tasks in parallel uh, and you get to uh, provision instances with the uh, the required number of CPU, GPU, and the amount of memory you want. Um, it's also going to let you access the, um, the CPU usage, the monitor your CPU usage, uh, memory, disk, network utilization, and you get to pause, resume jobs, and uh, also download logs or uh, check the status on your job. Thank you.